So in this front bedroom where she had all of her sewing supplies, there was this closet. And after she got everything out, I said, hey, uh, I don't think you've even opened this closet. And she said, nope, and I don't plan on it. My daughter left all that stuff here in like 1999, and it's been shut ever since. So. Well, what's up guys it's daniel from arms family homestead and uh welcome back to the abandoned homestead um i think we could tear this whole house down with our skid steer and a grapple uh might be a big project but uh no we're not doing that today um so i went ahead and brought the uh the skid steer and the mini clip tree shear in the grapple over here mostly because i went to pick it up in mill creek I took it to the house and was like well we might as well take it where we're going to use it next um i do have a ton of uh trimming that needs to be done before we can really even get bigger equipment in here i want to take out all these little small i hate to do it they're actually plum trees i think they're ornamental plum trees i don't think they actually fruit but we're going to take those out i've got a ton of other stuff that needs to be trimmed and cleared you know, the grapples pick up all these brush piles everywhere. There's just trash that needs to be picked up and moved. But the good news is the house is officially uh, free and clear to do what we want to with. We signed we signed all the um, paperwork to buy the property a couple weeks ago, but I gave the owner, the previous owner, a couple weeks to get all of her stuff out. And she spent uh, the last couple weekends out here cleaning up all of her stuff. And she has officially removed everything she wants and she left a bunch she left a bunch of stuff so for the last few days we've been over here kind of going through things um i've kind of gone through and picked out a bunch of stuff that i want to keep um my mother-in-law came over and got through went through a bunch of stuff and actually had some friends there's an older couple here i say older because he told me he's 80 uh, he's a retired trooper, but him and his wife do estate sales and antique sales, and they buy and sell the stuff from places like this. So they came out, they went through the entire house, the, the back porch here, the shop, and picked out a truckload of stuff, and I made about $250 from them. I sold the, the shopsmith saw the other day, you guys saw that, sold that one for $400, so we're up to $650 profit on our investment, uh, but there's still a bunch of stuff. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick walkthrough of the, the house and show you a few things that I found I wanna keep. And there's still a bunch more stuff. So we'll start here in the kitchen. This uh, oven, she didn't wanna do anything with the oven. It works just fine. It's a uh, electric oven. So we'll probably put that one on Facebook Marketplace and sell that. There's still a ton of tins and knickknacks and things. Uh, I would have thought some of the stuff that the antique guys would have wanted, but they didn't take it. Now, I did find this jewel. Now, if you're from the South, I don't, nothing against you Northern folks, but if you're from the South, you know this right here makes the best fried chicken ever. An electric skillet? Uh, yeah, everybody needs a 1970s, maybe early 80s, I don't know electric skillet in their life that's mm, fried chicken right there um there's a good filing cabinet i think my brother's gonna take that my brother well the front door's open my brother lives right across over there well that's kind of his yard sort of but there is a house through the trees 
So my brother's going to take a few things. Like he wants a filing cabinet and a few other things. Um, I'm trying, I may put this on marketplace as well. Cause I hate to tear the house down around it. That's a fairly new looking propane, um, heater, you know, a fake log propane heater. And I really hate that, you know, there's some really nice cabinetry in here, but here's the problem. The house has a mold issue. So with mold growing up the walls, I just don't know how good of an idea it is to try to save those, but I may look around and see if there's anybody that wants to come salvage those. This is all trash. Um, I did find something. So when we came in, I don't have any lights. I keep reaching for light switches. This was her uh, sewing room. She was a seamstress. I've got someone coming to look at this cabinet because look at this. It's all patterns, like sewing patterns. I know nothing about that. I'm sure there's some value to someone there, but I mean hundreds of sewing patterns. So someone's going to come look at that really cool trunk here. We did find, look at these. Emily took several home already. Um, some old records. There's some, looks like somebody might've gone through and picked a few more out. Yeah. Oh my goodness, right there. Cotton Eye Joe and other Texas dance hall favorites. I mean, that's a classic right there. Let's see. George Jones. George Jones. Emily took home, or well, actually, I took her. A Reba McIntyre record, an old George Strait, um, and several others. Oh, there was a Michael Jackson, because she actually does have a record player. There's a whole bunch more records down here, too, so... We will uh, sift through those. Some of them may have a little value, but uh, we'll find something to do with them. But um, so much stuff when it comes to sewing. And I, I know nothing about making clothing, but apparently that's what she enjoyed at one time. I think we're going to pull this uh, hot water heater out and uh, take it over to my brother's house. It's a fairly new looking hot water heater. He can use that, and eh, there's not much else in there. Pretty well cleaned out this room. So, I mean, as you can see, there's still a lot of a lot of work that needs to be done. A lot of stuff. I mean, come on now, you can't waste a good crock pot, can you? Gotta find something to do with the crock pot. Anybody want any canned goods? Um, apparently, they put these on the shelf and forgot about them. That's grape jelly from 2004. Let's see. Ooh, 1998. Uh, I don't know that I'll be eating that jelly. So much stuff. But this whole room was packed. There's what I want to show you. I forgot. When I was in that front room, there's a closet in here. I know I'm rambling, guys. Hang on. So in this front bedroom where she had all of her sewing supplies, there was this closet. And after she got everything out, I said, hey, uh, I don't think you've even opened this closet. And she said, nope, and I don't plan on it. My daughter left all that stuff here in like 1999, and it's been shut ever since. So I've since gone through it. Let me show you what I found. Dude, look at here. This hasn't been touched in probably 25 years. I know nothing about guitars. Let's open it and see what's inside. Maybe you guys can help me out. I mean, the case looks really old. I don't know about the guitar, but the case looks really old. Look at this. All right, so the brand is a K, and <clears throat> the lady that was here yesterday said it's a K student model guitar. Now, I don't play guitar, as you will quickly learn, but that's pretty stinking cool, isn't it? I may call her and see if she she or her daughter wants this back. They might have just totally forgotten that it was there. But I'm sure it's way out of tune. But uh, if they don't want it, I'll find somebody that does. Now, I'll be the first to admit, it's really strange, like rummaging through someone else's stuff. But uh, you have to, I have to go through all this stuff before we tear this house down because you just never know what you might find stuffed in the back closet stuffed in the attic 
like in a box somewhere that someone forgot about like that old guitar i don't know if that k whatever k model guitar is worth anything it looks pretty old honestly and uh i don't know maybe maybe it's got some value to it but i found a few other things that i'm going to keep for sure and uh some of them are lined up back here like two of these coleman heaters brand new in the box like these will be uh perfect look at this still in the plastic and they take those one pound propane cylinders perfect for the cabin or a deer blind that's my my goal one of my goals for this year before deer season is to build or buy or get set up with some pretty decent hunting blinds and these little propane heaters will be perfect for that and there's four propane cylinders brand new still in the plastic two of them a uh, really nice live trap in almost brand new condition for you know catching varmints on the farm a really nice lawn chair that will go probably in a ground blind for hunting because I don't like to be uncomfortable when I hunt if you can't tell then last but not least check this out look at this this will be perfect at the cabin it's a uh, portable propane grill look at that uh griddle slash grill but i haven't taken it out of the box but it looks brand new i don't think it's ever been used still in the plastic so we'll see we'll put it to use though um i think it'd be perfect for the cabin look at that set up take down cook some burgers at the cabin
them in that barn we need to investigate. might have been salvageable at least to make a decoration piece this old disc is probably ain't no telling how old it is but it was over in a mess of trees you can see the trees had actually grown up through it so it kind of came apart so i guess houston i'm sorry so i guess weston not houston will uh probably load it up for scrap iron and i've been trying to clean up around the barn because this old boat art tree well you guys, some of you probably know it as Osage Orange. Oh, horrible. Anyways, it was all on top of the barn and everything. So I've trimmed back as much as I could. There's a little bit more, but I'll have to get the grapple to get all the rest of this out of here before I can work any farther. However, I have noticed buzzards, or probably actually technically turkey vultures, uh, going into the barn <clears throat> oh by the way i cleaned up all the trees that were on the front of the barn um haven't got them all hauled off yet but i didn't take that one down i think that might actually be a pear tree i've got a bigger one in here i haven't got to yet um probably just gonna have to clip it up high because it's all in the foundation but those buzzards keep coming in and out of this barn usually i see them going in and out that window and I'm betting you there's a nest in here somewhere. I've never seen a turkey, a uh, turkey vulture or a buzzard uh, egg or a nest. Well, they're not in the chicken nest boxes, but I'm going to bet it's over there. Let's go see. Buzzard poop everywhere, all the white stuff on this. Oh, look at here. Ah, it's a buzzard nest. There's two eggs. Look like big old goose eggs is what they look like. Ooh, who wants to incubate some buzzard eggs? Mm, that would be uh, nasty. All right, let's get out of here before they come back. unloading all of my goodies at home and uh, I was right <laughs> this grill has never even been opened 
and uh, it was stylish. Well, that dude thought he was styling when this thing was new. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to put it all together right now, though. So all in all, um, we've got quite a bit of uh, useful stuff out of the old abandoned house over there. I did call Sheila, the, the former owner, and she came out and picked up that guitar. Um, I think it was her daughter's guitar. I'm not really positive, but uh, I, I kept a few things. Had the had some friends come out with the uh, that sell antiques and stuff. They rummaged through it. I think I sold $250 worth of stuff to them. My mother-in-law got a bunch of stuff. I got a bunch of stuff scattered everywhere. I am going to see what I can do about getting this old 22 rifle restored. Maybe not into working condition, but at least into a display condition. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, those propane heaters are going to come in really handy during deer season. Let me, uh, let me see if I can get a lantern like this back into working condition. Kind of a cool old piece, just a has you know something to see. But uh, why don't we check on Houston's geese and uh, his baby duck real quick? You guys doing all right in there? You sure are huddled under that heat lamp. I think I said geese and baby duck. <laughs> if I did, I meant geese and baby turkey. What's up, little guy? Starting to sound like a goose. Just a noisy goose, huh? Everybody is doing well, though. They're all healthy. You know, we had one that we were a little bit concerned about the other day. But all three of the geese are doing well, aren't you? Hmm? And the turkey is just fine. The uh, electrolytes and probiotics in the water seems to be doing the trick and keeping everybody healthy. And they're uh, just hanging out here. And, you know, we did get a lot of work done over at the property. My brother has been over there for two days now. He's taken out every board he can find, every shelf he can find. He's taken them. Um, doors he's gonna take the front door and we're gonna try to salvage as much as we can out of that house before we tear it down still don't know exactly when we're gonna be tearing it down but uh, hopefully within the next week or two hopefully if the weather cooperates but I don't know we'll see so anyways guys that's all I've got for today I got a lot of chores I need to get done here so we're gonna wrap this thing up so guys thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed it you guys have a great day, and as always, we'll see you on the next video.